Aloha friends, it's Robert Selleck. Thank you for tuning in to the Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel. Thanks to viewers like you, we've now had over 14 million views on the Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel. We have over 44,000 subscribers and because of that, we often get asked to review products and usually I say no thank you, but in this case, um, I had a personal interest in this product. It's an electric pump. So um, just for full disclosure, I did get this for free. This is like a pre-production engineering sample that they sent me to, to demo and test out and make a little video review. And uh, you know, I got, so I got this for free, but I'm not getting paid for this video review. So as always, I'm gonna give you an honest review, the pros and cons. I'm gonna show you what I like about this product and what I think could be better. Uh, one thing that's really cool is the screen. I'm not sure if it shows well, but it has like this really big screen display. Uh, it comes with a lot of different attachments. And obviously um, these, are, uh, these pumps are designed for stand-up paddle boards. And as you know, for myself personally, I'm more into wing foiling. And if I use a stand-up paddle board, it's not gonna be an inflatable one but it's designed for stand-up paddle boards. It goes up to 20 PSI, which is really good for an electric pump. It has a built-in battery. This is the Pro model. And the day I'm posting this video today uh, is also the day this company, Oak and Iron, is launching this product on their Kickstarter campaign. So you can uh, sign up to get one of these at a discounted price. So it's a good opportunity to check it out. Um, I personally like the battery powered model. They also have a model that you can plug into your car battery, but you know, with the built-in battery, it's portable, you can take it anywhere, and it has really good battery power. I've already used this several times, and I still got three quarters of a charge left. So it's designed for stand-up paddle boards, so I'm gonna test it on an inflatable stand-up paddle board. As you know, myself personally, I'm more into wing foiling these days. And if I stand up paddle, it's going to be a rigid hardboard. So I haven't really been using it myself for stand up paddle boards, but I have been using it for my wings. Okay, so this pump is designed for stand up paddle boards. So I'm going to test it on an inflatable stand up paddle board first. It pumps up to 20 psi and it has a two stage pump. So the first stage inflates it quickly at a high um, airflow speed. And then once it hits a certain amount of pressure, it switches over to a high pressure pump that doesn't pump as much volume, but it can go up to 20 PSI, which is a lot of pressure for an electric pump. So let's try it out. So it's easy to set the maximum pressure by just changing uh, the pressing like plus and minus. In this case, I wanted to test it to the full 20 PSI pressure. So I have it set to 20 PSI and it fills up the board quickly with the high flow um, speed. And then after about one PSI, it switches over to the high pressure pump. And then after that, you know, it slowly builds up the pressure inside the board. Okay, so we're at 19.5 PSI and it should automatically shut off at 20 PSI. So almost there. And 20 PSI is pretty high pressure for a stand -up, inflatable stand-up paddle board. Okay, so this is a pretty big board, 11.6, uh, and it took um, like 18 minutes for, for this to get fully inflated to 20 PSI. So um, it did, does take a while, but you know, it gives you an opportunity to just uh, get, get changed, put on sunscreen, get your paddle and everything else ready to go. And you know, while, while the board's pumping up, you can get ready. So you don't have to get all exhausted uh, manually pumping up the board. So, and 20 PSI is higher pressure than most people use. Uh, the inflatable boards, like, um, usually like 15 PSI is enough to have a good, decent rigidity. So, um, you know, it's a 18, 19 minutes is a good amount of time, but um, you know, this, this thing can, can get there and you don't have to do it manually. So that's nice. So it's, it seems to be a great pump for inflating stand-up paddle boards. But what I was most interested in is pumping up my wings for wing foiling. And I tested it the other day, a few days ago, 
um, with a four meter wing. It only took about three minutes to get the four meter wing to 8.5 PSI. And then I also tested it on a six meter wing uh, where it took uh, about five minutes to pump it up to 8.5 PSI. So quite quick, um, it's like not even enough time to put on sunscreen and get chained. So, um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really nice pump. Um, the screen is big which is good it has a high capacity battery can be charged easily with uh you know from a usb port um, you can also plug it into um, uh, your car charger with this plug so um you know lots of great options it has like a cooling system built in so you can um, pump up multiple boards in a row without the thing overheating and then have little storage boards for the charger cables here and a nice carry handle makes it super easy to carry. Another nice feature is that you can uh, hook it up on the deflate side of the pump. So then that way it kind of sucks the air out of the board while you're rolling it up. So it's much easier to roll it up tightly and get it back into the bag easily. So the Oaken Iron Wave Pro with the battery inside is really an excellent package. It's a uh, just really nice pump. Highly recommend it. You know, the only, the only thing I would recommend is making one of these adapters for winging or kiting. Uh, these kind of adapters that you need for many of the kites and wings on the market. For me, I'm using it mostly for wing foiling. So I ended up just making my own and I'll show you a little time lapse of how I did it. Basically, I just um, cut off one of the uh, one of the pieces I didn't need and then glued them together with epoxy to make an adapter that I can in screw in and unscrew. Um, it does come with a, a variety of adapters. So it does have one that you can use if you have a F1 wing. This one will work on ozone wings. So they'll work on a lot of wings, but if you have like a North or Duotone, Armstrong, PPC, Blue Planet wings, all of those, you need this kind of a kite, kite pump adapter. So these ones, if you need one of these, you either have to make your own or hopefully Oak and Iron will make one available for the pump. I am gonna ask them to make one for all you wingers and kiters out there because that's what I'm gonna be using the pump for. But of course, most electric pumps on the market right now are made for stand-up paddling. You have to hold down the power button for a few seconds for it to turn on. And then you get that really nice crisp display. There's like a cooling pump inside. So many nice features. So I highly recommend the pump. They're starting their Kickstarter campaign today on March 7th. So it's a good time to check it out. I'll put the link in the description down below. Check out their Kickstarter campaign. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, once these pumps are available, we might carry them at the Blue Planet Surf Shop. And if we do, we're also going to make these um, adapters available. So that's we're going to have this available as an aftermarket product if they don't come out with one. So yeah, so that's it. Hope you enjoy this little review of the Wave Pro from Oak and Iron. Um, hope to see you on the water soon. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel down below. We'll see you on the water. Aloha.